it's... beautiful. Did you make it? We did. I, ah, uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway. Your new family, like. It's a good luck charm. We may come up north when a bairn's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby. To let him know that they're part of the family, too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I... I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords. For everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah, <sighs> Clive. Fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. Don't you think you've had enough? No, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. <sighs> it wasn't long after me tenth name day. My mum told us she was with child again. I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister, and then I didn't. Me whole family gone in a blink, while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even Toggle. <laughs> Have you finished? Maybe. Do you know why you're our best scout? Yeah. Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... That? was only the once. Exactly. You learned from it. And here you are after founder knows how many missions stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. <sighs> Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, I get your room and your sword.
I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. I said I was thirsty. Better get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know. I know. Do you think they'll come back? Of course they will. It's just a big... Ready, go. Faster. Straight home now. This must be the orphanage. Hopefully the registry is still here. Conditioning. This is nothing short of torture. Off. Herman wasn't exaggerating. It's a wonder he survived this place. I need to find that registry. This reads like a suicide note. Did the director go through with his plan? There's only one way to find out. After it! white tree. This must be the place.
Could he really be buried here? There's something hidden among the roots. Let's see. This must be the registry. So many names. This place was a slaughterhouse. But where is the architect of all this misery? It was only a matter of time, I suppose. This place is cursed. <laughs> I'm done here. Let's get the registry back to Herman. Do you see anything you like? An excellent choice. Come back again. And now my eye help the garrison today. The 
meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there. See, boy. Let's hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. Harder than I expected. But Founder, it was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we?
I hear that you traveled to Ash, Sid. Did you by any chance? I did. If I may, the bearer registry. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse than he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survived. All their names are here. The ones we lost. My friends. My light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces. Children. No explanation ever off. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive when so many others died in that awful place? It's not your fault. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. Honor their memory. See that their names live on. That way, at least. They're never truly gone. Thank you. Sid, I'm going to write a book. An account of the horrors of Badbach, and the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of Valisthea will know of our suffering, and in the name of those I lost, I will not let it happen again. Neither be. Jill, there's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. I, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... Oh. Try to. <laughs> How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. <laughs> but I felt wonderful nonetheless. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. 
Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there, your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That, that you, that you would always come for me. And you have, again and again. Where do you see us? When all this is over? I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then... That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Blythe, for this, the flowers, for everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure.